begin with the demonstrations in Istanbul and this is the scene from Taksim Square where thousands of people are gathering for a third night of protest. The rallies started as outrage over plans to replace a park in the square with a shopping centre. But it sparked nationwide anger at Turkey's Prime Minister and his Conservative government. More than a thousand protesters have been arrested since the protests began. But today the situation appears calm. Sky News reporter Katie Stallard is covering the protest in Taksim Square. Now they're moving back now into this square in their thousands. They had held this square overnight. There were tens of thousands of people in this square overnight celebrating, dancing what they believed was a victory in retaining control of this square. In the early hours, it drifted off by this morning. There were perhaps a couple of dozen people left here nominally retaining control of the square. It was important symbolically that they didn't give it up, that they didn't, that they didn't cede it back to the authorities. But then the call went out on social media again today that people should gather in this square this afternoon to make their voices heard. And you can see what the response is. People from many different political persuasions, many different walks of life, united by the feeling that they need to be in this square to make their voices heard because they feel that they do not have that in Turkey. Many people are coming up to us and asking if, if we are Turkish media when we say that we're not. They're thanking us because they're saying that their own press isn't free to tell this story. So it's very important that others come here, that they do that, that this message gets out. And that message this afternoon is very clear that they are not going anywhere fast.